इंद्रो to understand the true concept the central idea of vedas for that you need a platform a very sound platform which is free of all these misconceptions or misapprehensions or apprehensions or already preconceived notions ideas preconceived already that what you have learned should be unlearned first so so ganpati muni is still working like that so he he wanted this vedic culture to be protected he wanted the sanskrit to be protected that is the reason he you know advised mahatma gandhi to have to declare that sanskrit is the mother tongue of india so that you know we can have the opportunity we we continue the tradition of looking into the vedic lore for everything that because vedas are pramanas for us your pramana granthas are in sanskrit but you don't know sanskrit then how will you know what is the pramana what is the proof how will you know why you are doing all these things veda is pramana puranas are not pramanas for us no smriti is pramana no purana is pramana it is only veda that is pramana that is what ganapati muni said vedas should be the central pillars for our uh, you know reformation refor- reformative principles and your vedas are itself in sanskrit and you don't know sanskrit your nation doesn't speak scan sanskrit your nation doesn't understand sanskrit your nation doesn't know what is the mother language of the nation but all your books means the treasure that is passed on is in sanskrit vedic sanskrit what kind of foolishness is this ganpati muni was very very unhappy when gandhi ji turned down his advice but what is happening today is only the result of great intellectual people for, of like ganpati muni who were silenced the silence of great intellectuals is the great cost that the nation pays but what ganapati muni continued doing is he has given this ancient vedic knowledge in the form of the works that he has done and now very few people know what he has contributed to keep this knowledge alive to pass on this information to all those people with similar thoughts who have great respect and reverence towards vedic life of india for them at least this work should be preserved so that's the reason i have been doing these videos in the digital format so here the lifestyle that ganapati muni wanted what he was that what he wanted to bring into the world what was he telling what was he teaching the students let us think about this look at his work and his works and then see what would be he talking to the students all the mantra darshanas that he has got like viran maha mantra indra indrani maha mantras there are so many other masaraswati vaidik maha mantra and uh, ganapati maha mantra brahmanaswati maha mantra there are so many things that ganapati muni has actually given to all of us so now what ganapati muni wanted to do is he wanted people to know the truth just like how a farmer separates rice from husk he wanted all of us to awake learn the truth in the vedas not in puranas there are so many additions that were made to puranic stories but no one ever dare to touch or manipulate with vedic suktas because vedic suktas are in vaidik chandas vedic grammar is completely different ancient vedic grammar is completely difficult and different so no one was able to manipulate vedic chandas so the vedic lore is untouched unmanipulated 
Puranas and other things were all manipulated. So many kings have made so many changes. So many pundits were lured of so many things and were involved, engaged for this kind of an act. Where our rishis were demeaned, where the glory of our rishis is hidden and we were led in a very difficult, difficult, different path which is away from the path of the rishis, our ancestral forefathers. Only when they can actually break us, break the connectivity that we have, break the bridge that we have to find the true treasure inside our heart, the true powers that we could possess, acquire by means of the resources that we have in Vedas, only then the foreigner can break us. So what they did is they broke us from inside. That is the danger we are all in now. Veda is not a religion, please understand. In this maybe you know 30-40 minute video, I never use the word religion, you see. Veda is not a religion. So the true living of Vedic is completely different. Ganapati Muni wanted to establish such a beautiful community of Vedic village lifestyle. So I'm actually trying to build a beautiful community like that. A community which is non-profit. A community's aim is only to dwell deep into this Vedic lore and understand who our rishis are and try to live a simple life. Let us not make things any more complicated. Live a very, very simple life. Live, a, like, live life like a rishi which is completely environmental consciousness. So right now also I am doing such a, a project now where we wanted to actually follow the path of Ganapat Muni. So we need a place for that we are actually building a tapopita of Kavikanda Vasishta Sri Ganapat Muni in Sri Gayatri Tapovanam, which is actually a health, wellness and a spiritual retreat. It is a Vedic village, an integrated Vedic village complex that we are doing now where we want to do everything that the Rishi has done. So Ganpad Muni tells in Bharata Charitra Pariksha and other works that Rishis have in fact done family life. They are householders, they are teachers, they are farmers, they produce their own food. They have learned so many sastras, they mastered so many things. So when it is a time and it is necessary, they also have taken up weapon to protect the sovereignty, to, to protect the very freedom that they have on the land that they live. So Rishi completely is completely different. He is a warrior. He is a warrior on the two planes, out extrinsic and intrinsic, both warrior. He is a, he is a warrior. He is a warrior who is trying to remove the obstacles in his inner journey, trying to conquer, trying to really possess the power that he has and he is also a warrior who is trying to remove the obstacles in the external world. They lived in most horrible situations, most horrible environments. Just imagine the life of Rishis, how it used to be in those days in those deep dense forests. They fought, they were warriors continuously. They led a life of Purusha. First understand what is the meaning of Purusha. Purusha means free will. The free will that we have is Purusha. Purushastra, Purusha Prayatna is Purusha, is free will. The free will that we have, the choice that we can make, the Purushastra that we possess, we all possess. So you, they used their free will. They never depended on destiny, you see. So Rishi's complete understanding is different. The understanding that we all today have is completely different. Rishis are not that. Rishis never, never encourage their life of, you know, a religious, dogmatic lifestyle. No. So Ganapati Muni wanted to remove this confusion from the society. So he, 
he corrected so many stories in puranas he gave so many mahamantras in vedas he gave veda vidyas for this true vedic self development inner development you take astronomy astrology ayurveda medicine mathematics language creating new language he also has composed a democracy for bharat mother india rashtra nibandhanam a democratic india so he composed a vedic democracy for india people don't know that indro विश्वस्य राजति